Often 700 level questions on the GMAT contain some scary looking expressions. The key to solving them is to convert those complex expressions into simpler forms, for example simplifying this complex expression or this one. In this short video, I am going to show you how to master this skill. After solving a few examples, I will give you a short quiz to test your skill level. So let's get started with this algebra question from the advanced official guidebook. Pause the video, solve the question and then click on the information icon on the top right hand corner to submit your response. Let's solve this question. If n is greater than 4, what is the value of the integer n? Okay, so we need to find out the value of this number n and we know that it's an integer and because we know that it's greater than 4 and that it's an integer, what we know is that n is a positive number. Okay, now let's take a look at statement 1. Now what does statement 1 say? Statement 1 presents this rather scary looking factorial expression and when you take a look at it you may get a little bit you know taken aback by the complexity of it but what you need to do is take a deep breath and just start simplifying it okay so what do we do let's start with the right with the left hand side over here what do we see n factorial and n minus 3 factorial now you need to know the concept of factorial right so you can write n factorial as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial you don't need to simplify it any further than that why because you have n minus 3 factorial in the denominator so what you can do is simply cancel these out okay now let's carry on with the right hand side of this expression of this equation okay then we'll do the same thing now you have 3 factorial here and 4 factorial here so what you can do is you can write down 3 factorial as is 4 factorial you can simplify as 4 into 3 factorial what would that do that would cancel out allow you to cancel out the 3 factorial now observe that here you have n factorial okay let's use a slightly different color here n factorial and you have n minus 4 factorial right so what you can do is write down n factorial as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial okay and in the denominator you just write n minus 4 factorial and you can then cancel this out this out what you're left with is this expression here right on on the right hand side now we're going to cancel out the terms across the two sides of the equation n goes n minus 1 goes n minus 2 goes and what you're left with is 1 is equal to you have this term here in minus 3 and you have 4 in the denominator so what you have is n minus 3 over 4 and when you simplify what do you get n is equal to 4 plus 3 so 4 goes here 3 goes here so which is n is equal to 7 what does that mean that means that statement 1 is sufficient so a b c d and e so b c and e are cancelled out your answer choices could be a or d okay so i want you to appreciate the extent of simplification that we have done over here we took a look at our equation and we just took a deep breath and we simplified one expression at a time and we were able to get to the answer over here for statement number one that statement one conclusion over here for statement number one that statement one is sufficient now let's take a look at statement two now that we have already simplified statement one statement two we're going to follow the same principle over here okay and this should go rather smoothly because you've already had the exercise for statement in statement number one so what we can do is observe uh, just just observe here you have n factorial in the denominator on both the terms in both the terms and then you have n plus 1 factorial so you know that you can simplify the uh, numerator rather easily likewise you see that you have 3 factorial 4 factorial n minus 3 factorial n minus 4 factorial the same thing you have similar stuff n minus 3 factorial so you can easily um, take out um, you can easily factorize the right and uh, the left hand side of the equation over here and then take out your uh, common denominator so let's 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 start that okay so n factorial okay 
you have what 3 factorial so you'll keep it as is n minus 3 factorial you're going to write as 3 factorial into n minus 4 factorial okay plus n factorial 4 factorial you're going to write as 4 times 3 factorial into n minus 4 factorial i'm going to work on the uh, on the left hand side first and then we're going to start the right hand side all right so now you start taking things out n factorial divided by 3 factorial and you can get this term out as well n minus 4 factorial what are you left with in the first term you have n minus 3 in the second term you have 1 over 4 okay now um, what we can do is we can leave this as is now let's start doing the right hand side now right hand side you have n plus 1 so what you can do you can write this as n plus 1 n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 into n factorial 4 times 3 factorial into n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial okay what is that um, you get n factorial into n plus 1 over um, all right over 3 factorial into 4 I'm just repeating that over here so that I can do the cancelling out properly okay now I start to cancel terms out n factorial gets cancelled out here 3 factorial gets cancelled out here n minus 4 factorial gets cancelled out okay now what am I left with I'm left with right, let me simplify this 4 uh, plus n minus 3 4 into n minus 3 equals n plus 1 over 4 into n minus 3 what also gets cancelled out are these terms over here in the denominator and what I end up getting is n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 now which means my light right hand side is equal to left hand side so frankly this equation is valid for all values of n okay which means that this statement is not sufficient for me to figure out what is the value of n this means that the correct answer choice is choice a and choice d is not correct all right so again very simple question once you know how to approach this question and the approach for this question really lies in your skill set to apply the process skill of simplify so don't ever get scared of expressions such as these ones just follow your conceptual knowledge and do step-by-step -step simplification applying simplify process skill was the key to solving this question now we will apply the skill to another algebra question also over the next few days i will be uploading multiple questions to help you build these process skills Click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I add these questions.